Welcome to our Yellowfin help videos. Today's video is about creating financial charts. So I'm in the report builder and I've actually just set up a report already with the data that I need to use. Now this sort of data isn't actually available within the ski team data, um, so I have imported a CSV with the data. So you can see here um, I've got a date value, I've got a volume amount, and then I've got some opening and closing values of my sales and also my high and lows of sales. I've also just added a date filter just to filter this down to a three month period so we've just got a few samples of data to look at. So what we're going to do now is go to the chart builder and within here I'm going to come over to the menu and choose the financial charts. So today these are what we're going to focus on. We've got three different financial charts. Firstly just a basic financial line which is used to display the trading value with a sub-chart displaying the volume. We're also going to have a look at high and low reports. So these are going to show your daily highs and lows, including those opening and closing values. And they're going to have little tick positions corresponding to that opening and close value. And the last one we'll have a look at is a candlestick, which is going to show again those daily highs and lows and opening and closing values. However, this time the candlestick element of it can have a different colour depending on the direction of that day. So first, let's just start with our financial line. Now I'm going to select that. We'll see here we've updated it here and now I've got these particular fields that I need to fill. So my horizontal axis is always going to be my date field in this example. And then I just need to add in two fields here. So one is going to be that dollar value and one is going to be the volume. So my dollar value is going to be my daily close value and my volume is my volume field. So now you'll see that chart created. You'll notice it's not very colorful by default. Um, you can adjust those colors by coming to your chart settings here and come down to the financial settings. So you can just choose what color you want the line. So let's say blue and what color I want the volume and I'm going to make that green. So there we can see that updating. Now there is also another option here to add a trend line. Uh, you don't have to put this field in, it's just an optional field that can allow you to mark that trend. Just so you can see what it's like, let me bring in my opening value. So you can see this red line has appeared, which is displaying my trend. Okay, so that's a nice easy report to be able to create. There's not a lot you can do to format these reports. They are very structured already. So the only additional formatting options you have are to add a heading to the report. You can format the legend and also you can adjust the, the background and the grid lines. Let's uh, create another chart and let's create the next type of financial chart. I'm gonna create the high and low chart. Now this time you'll notice I've got a lot more um, fields to be able to fill. So again, our date is going to be our horizontal axis. And now we're going to enter in a start and end value. So these are going to be my open and close values. Now they also want to see some highs and lows. So I've got this data already. And the last one is my physical volume. Again, there's the option of having a trend line, but it's not mandatory. So I'm going to leave it blank. Okay, and we can see our previews come through. Again, it's not very colorful, so please feel free to add some color to it by going to those chart settings and the financial options. So now we have a few options on, I guess, what to color. We can have an open value and a close value. Uh, we can have an overall line color, and we can also have the volume coming in in its own color as well. So you'll see the main, the volume is our bright orange, the value is that purple, and very faintly you can just see some little dashes coming out the side which are displaying those open and close colours as well. Let's quickly create the last type of chart. So this is my candlestick chart. This candlestick chart looks very similar to what we just saw. Uh, so again, I'm going to bring in the same fields, my date, my open value versus my close, my high and my low, and my volume. OK, 
Okay, so this time though, there's a little box being created between that open and close value. And then the fill of that box, so either it's black or it's white, is depending on you know, whether it's actually doing well or not. So for the last time, uh, we'll format these. So let's make them a bit of a color. So if things are going well, let's make them green. If that candlestick is going badly, let's make it red. Then we can just make the overall line blue and the volume amount, I'm gonna keep orange for consistency. So you can see that's uh, actually you know, quite easy to read and now by making that green and red, I can very easily see whether you know, we've had a good day or a bad day. So it's very easy to create these financial charts. As long as you've ensured you've got the right data to be able to fill the required fields, they actually can be really useful. Thank you for watching and please tune in to our next video.